as the president deals with the fallout from his controversial visit to Saudi Arabia. He's also facing a major problem here at home. Last night, the Democratic senator of West Virginia, Joe Manchin, delivered a devastating blow to the president's domestic agenda. Senator Manchin told party leaders that he will not currently support a proposal for new climate change spending or tax hikes on businesses and wealthy Americans. Instead, he says he's open to capping prescription drug prices for seniors and extending existing subsidies under the Affordable Care Act that will otherwise expire. Today, when asked about the collapse of his agenda, the president said he's not giving up. I am not going away. I'm use every power I have as president to continue to fulfill my pledge to move toward dealing with global warming. Thank you, Mr. Very much. President. Thanks, is Joe Manchin negotiating in good faith? I didn't negotiate with Joe Manchin. I have no idea. NBC's Capitol Hill correspondent Ali Vitali. Now, Ali, what is Senator Manchin's reasoning? Yeah, Kelly, for Manchin, this is all about inflation. That spike in those inflation numbers earlier this week were what he called alarming. And that's exactly what he said to Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. The two men have been huddled discussing this package quietly for months since its winter demise. But now what Manchin is saying is that it's not prudent to be doing spending to the tune of a trillion dollars. It's why he's saying no to key climate and tax provisions in this package. And that has Democrats very concerned. Pulling up on the screen here, one tweet from Senator Ed Markey, who said in part, the rage keeps me from tears, resolve keeps me from despair. We will not allow a future of climate disaster. Manchin, though, trying to leave the door open for some potential action in the future, but nevertheless, with inflation numbers where they are, he's just not able to get on board with the kind of package that Democrats thought they were going to get here, Kelly. Yeah. On another hot topic today, the House took a step toward trying to write abortion into law. Yeah, at least trying to codify it at the federal level. Not the first time that we've seen House Democrats take these steps, first moving to pass the Women's Health Protection Act, which would codify the former protections of Roe versus Wade, allowing women to access abortion care, and then also trying to move on protections that would allow women to travel over state lines and not be criminalized for that, something that some advocates are looking ahead to as a potential next frontier in this battle. Of course, all of these provisions, even though they pass the House, face a brick wall in the Senate. They just do not have the votes to pass it. But for House, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Democrats, they say this is a way to get Republicans and Democrats alike on the record as they try to make this an issue in November.